Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday to you. Thank you so much for watching Breakfast Television. Are you curious about your ancestry or your inherited disease risk? Well, there's a growing awareness about genetic testing, but what can you really learn from that information? So here to help us understand that is medical geneticist Dr. Anil Khan. Good morning to you. Good morning, Leah. So there is a lot of awareness about this out there now. A lot of companies advertising, hey, do you want to know where you came from? But what can we really learn from some of that genetic testing, and how does it work? So what's happening now is the companies are giving you information from your DNA. Those are the bits of information we inherit from our parents. And they can trace back to see where your ancestry, where, where your ancestors spent most of their time. And, and that gives you some information that uh, may be of value to you, but the same technology is now being used to find out about rare diseases, whether you've got a rare disease and which gene may be causing it. And what we're going to see is it's now going to filter into telling you about risks for different things, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, and it might even be something like testing the genes in a t certain type of cancer to find out which drug might work better to treat your cancer. That's already happening. So we're going to see more and more, more of, of this in medicine and in general practice. In general practice. It's this idea of personalized medicine, isn't it? It's trying to match the right sort of treatment with the right person and the right disease, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. So that's, that's the approach that this technology is really giving us a lot of firepower for. For example, if you look at breast cancer, mm -hmm. having a genetic risk for breast cancer may not necessarily mean that you have it, but it might mean that your risk is higher and there may be something you can do to change your risk. And we're going to find that for an increasing number of common diseases that a lot of the population has. Mm -hmm. So When you talk about things like yeah. changing your risk, though, what do you mean? I mean, it could be, I suppose, as dramatic as having surgery or simply maybe having more common mammograms? Or Yes, it could be starting screening for mammograms earlier. Mm -hmm. If it's uh, a medication that you have to take, it could be changing the dose of the medication or how often you take it. It could also mean maybe not taking the medication with certain other ingredients or timing the medication with either surgeries or other procedures. Interesting. What about people that are just going out there to get this information, but then they find out something maybe they weren't quite ready to hear? I mean, that could really be life-changing, couldn't it? It is, and it's pretty significant. So that's why we're seeing right now that we might get information about ancestry, which probably is not right now going to change too much how you look at your health outcome. But as we filter into that, then you're going to need some information with which how to deal with that result. So if you go and do a test result and you find out you're at risk for cancer, do you know that you're really going to get it or how much it modifies your risk? Is it 1%? Is it 10%? And so usually there's a counselor involved, either a genetic counselor, a medical geneticist, or some other a uh, professional that knows about those risks and how to put those into perspective with your test result. Right, so context is going to be key when you're getting that information. Absolutely. So the same as going to the internet and trying to find a diagnosis <laughs> right. with your symptoms, which we often get, this is going to be more so because it may look like it's uh, a hard piece of information that you need to act upon right away but it needs to be put into this context. Okay, interesting. Now you've got a talk coming up that is open to the public on Thursday. Tell us a little bit about that. So the talk goes into these technologies, what you mm -hmm. call next generation sequencing technologies in more detail. Um, if you want to come and listen to it, that would be great. So and we'll Thursday talk, from 7 to right. 9 p.m. And we'll talk about how it could impact your health. Right. And you know, it's, it's kind of like the, the auto start stop feature in my car. <laughs> I, I have to deal with it. Either I have to turn it off or it does things for me, but there's no way to not interact with it, and that's what's going to happen with these technologies in our health. Moving forward. Very interesting. Dr. Khan, thank you so much thank for your you. time this morning, and thank you for being here.